what's up? This is Alex the Maverick Colazzo. Let's make this quick. On the show today, we got Bobby Samuels. Um, for all those who don't know, this is the guy who used to go toe to toe against Sammo Hung in the old Kung Fu films, the old Hong Kong cinema films. Um, so it's a real cool experience having him on. And again, I am your host, Alex Colazzo, and thanks for listening. And welcome to the Mavericks Dojo. Great. Um, so how are you doing, by the way? <laughs> good, good, good. How are you? I'm really good. I'm really good. And I'm glad to be doing this interview with you, uh, Master Samuels. Do I call you Master yeah. Samuels, Sensei, or Mr. Samuels? Uh, just call, call me Bobby. It's fine. All right, Bobby. Thanks. Yeah. Um, all right, so I want to ask you about your upcoming Beast uh, movie. How's the project coming along? Yeah. You, you, you compared it to uh, Captain America in the one interview? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Um, I don't it... want to give away too much of the plot, you know. when people kind of be surprised with some of the twists. Uh-huh. Uh, with kind of genre bending right there with a little horror mixed with the martial arts. Um, we're bringing some of the old school show of veterans back into the, uh, into the mix and mixing them with the new young uh, action stars of today. So Awesome. You know, you you did like what twenty movies in Hong Kong or something like that. I've done a lot of movies in Hong Kong, yes. As wow. well as here in the U.S., yes. Mm-hmm. How how fit or agile or fast does someone have to be in order to like get hired for a kung fu film over there in China, with all the physical work required? Uh, well, Westerners aren't usually uh, received well in the action category. Um, you kind of have to prove yourself, especially like in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Uh, probably some of the, the toughest stuntmen in the world uh, over there. And you kind of have to test your metal in order to survive in that industry. So mm. if you if you can, it's like, it's worth its weight in gold, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you lived with Sammo Hung, you said, right, before? Yes, sir. Yeah, I did for, for a while, yep. What was that like? <laughs> uh, wow, that was uh, truly a unique experience. Uh, one that was like, if you could ever wish for uh, something to come true and that happened, I mean, I, uh, I couldn't believe it. I was amazed. Um, so he became my teacher, taught me a lot as far as filmmaking is concerned. And uh, actually, he had his birthday yesterday, so. Yeah, I was going to ask you if you guys still connected. <laughs> oh, yeah, we talk every now and then, yeah. But he's a busy guy, as you know. And as you can see, I'm trying to do my thing as well, so. Right. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of curious as uh, your style of kung fu. Like, what do you, what did you train in in the past? I started in uh, Hong Kong, Hong Kong years ago uh, when I was about eight or nine years old, and I uh, stayed with that system for many years. Hmm. Um. Uh, who were your teachers? Oh, I had uh, various teachers. I had uh, Sifu Shipoi Chong in Philadelphia, PA. Uh, Grandmaster Low Spot uh, from the Hip Sing Association, uh, Samo, Samo Hong, he was my instructor, uh, trolling, uh, various instructors throughout the years. So I've been very fortunate. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you currently like run or teach at a Kung Fu school? Or is it like, uh, do you want to like express Kung Fu through like film? Is that like your bigger passion? I, yeah, I'm more I mean, martial arts encompasses a lot. You have your traditionalists, and then you have your, 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 your people that do action for film. Um, I love doing the action for film. I love the creativity um, and the energy that it brings uh, to the audience. So, um, Do you uh, still run the, uh, what is it called, the Blue Phoenix Company? Uh, no, no, actually, no. That's run by a guy named Paul Chang. Oh, um, okay. I recently opened my own company uh, with uh, Robert Jefferson. Uh, he's right, a producer of Beast, and uh, we have the R4 films uh, trying to do our thing with the martial arts films. Are there are there going to be a lot like uh, like the choreography, like uh, the kung fu cinema style uh, fighting? Oh, definitely. I have to incorporate my roots, so to speak. Um, having uh, lived and worked in Asia for so long, you know, 
most of my filmic too, which came from the Hong Kong film industry. So I was very fortunate uh, working with uh, Camo and Yun Wafing, Leon Lai, Alfred Chow King Ting, Clifton Kochi Sam, a lot of the Hong Kong directors. So I'm very, very lucky. When you put these fight scenes together, do you guys storyboard? Because there's a lot going on in these fights, man. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? I, I kind of visualized it in my head, but I had Manny Ayala. Manny worked with uh, me and Tony Lel uh, years ago on a film titled Seven Mummies. Um, and uh, brought him in as a service action director. So we kind of brainstormed on the style of what we wanted. And uh, he came to work with uh, some great stunt guys and... Uh, we try to create the magic. Wow. Any injuries from all those uh, movies? <laughs> uh, for me, oh, yeah, plenty of them. <laughs> Broken bones, lacerations, teeth knocked down, yeah, straight up and down the board. <laughs> Samuel Hung any, uh, hit you hard at any time? <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a scene in Don't Give a Damn, actually, you can actually see it on film, where we're in the uh, police station, and uh, my brother got shot in the film, and uh, I had to get him out of there. Sam and I have a battle downstairs in the basement. Uh, I'm in SWAT uniform, but there's a scene where we knock over a cabinet. He rolls over the cabinet. He grabs me by my neck in slow motion, overhead shot. You actually see his knee come up, strike me in the uh, jaw, and then you see me fly and then hit the ground. Well, he knocked two of my teeth out in that thing mm -hmm. right there on camera. You know, one of the things I find interesting, um, we have like four minutes left, but I wanted to bring this up. Um, sure. It's about, you know, people usually tell me that when they go to China, you know, some some Chinese come off as racist or whatever or superior, but that that's not the same for you, was it? I mean, it seems like they accepted you. You know what I mean? Uh, well, they they are they put it to you this way. I mean, in, in real terms, of course, there, there's racism everywhere. Um, I probably didn't experience to the level of most people because I speak fluent Chinese. Um, and because I lived with Samo, so there were certain, you know, I wasn't treated like most people would be treated. Right. But I could see, you know, that there are overtones and undertones over there concerning racial issues. Um, but, hey, look, you know, everyone isn't, isn't as advanced as we are here in the United States, so. Right, right, right. But it was still a wonderful experience getting over there, you know, and working with those people. Oh, Who, who was you know, it's, an, it's an end of an era, really, because uh, Hong Kong cinema isn't really like it was anymore. Most of the films are shot now in mainland China, you know, in various other locations outside of Hong Kong. So I'm just waiting for that resurgence again, like we had during the 80s and 90s uh, in Hong Kong, where most of the classics that we continue to watch today, uh, they were turned out. Now everything is done in mainland China, and, you know, of course, it's, it's cheaper. Um, uh, but again, Hong Kong just had that, that, that visceral flavor that we still love to this day. Yeah, I see a lot of uh, graphical advancements in their martial arts movies now and their stunts. Oh, in the 80s and yeah. 90s, there was a lot of natural, you know what I mean? Choreography. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things that we, we, we we're priding ourselves on with Beast. Uh, most of the action will be definitely fist the cuffs like the old school I'm trying to bring back the old 1990s hand and fist um, action as opposed to the, the wires and the enhanced uh, you know special effects just just bring it back to the basics and where the audience can appreciate the realism of it and the beauty of the technique oh yeah that's that's definitely something I want to watch uh, let me give you a final question you know growing up who was your inspiration in, in, in terms of like movies and you know um, when I was growing up, I, I, well, of course, Bruce Lee, that, that goes without saying, <laughs> but I think the transition into the movies came when I saw a film called Five Fingers of Death with uh, Lole. Oh. Um, um, and that, right then when I left the theater, it, it was like a, a lightning bolt hit me, and I said, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to work with these guys. And I mean, the guys I saw on the screen are the ones I wanted to work with. And it's, it's ironic that the first movie that I ended up doing, which was Gambling Ghost on Volkswagen, um, Lole is in the film with me. Wow. You, it, so that's kind of poetic. They're my first movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I got to do with him. 
one last question. If you can give me one uh, last one. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go what, ahead. What, what, okay. do you, what do you talk? Uh, Putonghua, which is uh, Chinese Mandarin or what? Cantonese? No, I don't know. Yeah. Don't make Wow. 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 And I want to tell you that you're working, uh, you know, the Kung Fu movies that I've seen with uh, Sammo Hung and all that. You're really good, bro. You're really good. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate that. And, you know, all the support that I get, you know. So right now, I just want everybody to come on board and enjoy this experience with me, you know. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, music videos and second unit uh, independent films here in the United States. So this is actually my first directorial debut. And uh, I want it to be extremely good. So. Oh man, I can't wait! I can't wait to see it, man. Uh, keep me, keep me thank updated, you. and uh, thank you very much, Bobby. Of course, of course. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Let's keep connected. Yes, yeah.